What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video. And today is 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 our boy Bob Iger. Is our boy Bob Iger? Is he actually trolling? Uh, is he understanding the insanity surrounding this movie? What exactly is Bob Iger doing? I don't know. Um, but he didn't get the Captain Marvel hashtag correct. I see that much. Um, you all know who Bob Iger is. Bob Iger is the chairman and the CEO of the Walt Disney Company. And uh, I actually like Bob, I like Bob Iger. I'm a Disney fan, and I like Bob Iger. I think Bob Iger has done a really good job with Disney in terms of uh, you know, getting different properties and doing some, some really cool things in the parks. Um, but obviously, uh, there are some issues at Disney that I have, uh, some major issues that I think Mr. Iger should be addressing. But, uh, this particular tweet, man, like, uh, Bob Iger is a really straightforward kind of guy, really buttoned up. And this tweet was really weird, man. I appreciate the sarcasm if that's what he's doing. But I don't really understand what exactly motivated him to do this. So he says, uh, fasten your seatbelts for a wild ride. Ha hashtag Captain Marvel, which he misspelled. Uh, I think we should build a Captain Marvel land and 50 Captain Marvel attractions, plus Captain Marvel cruise ships, hotels, restaurants, and parades. And I'm like, what is he doing? I don't know what he's doing. He's not really known for his sarcasm. And, and this clearly... There's clearly tons of hyperbole with what he's saying. So is he is he using this sarcasm? I think, in my opinion, I think he's using the sarcasm to go after the critics like myself that are talking bad about Captain Marvel. And if that's the case, again, I can always appreciate sarcasm, but it kind of shows how out of touch he is right now. Like, seems like a lot of virtue signaling going on. Where you're like, you know, respect whammon. If you don't respect whammon, then we're going to make fun of you because you're upset because this movie has a whammon in it. And you're so upset. When in the reality it is, is that's not the case at all. That's not why we're upset. That has nothing to do with it. It has nothing to do with it being a woman. It has to do with the fact that it seems like a very forced movie. Brie Larson is terribly miscast. The marketing is all about identity politics. And... It seems like this character is being set up to be the person that ultimately takes down Thanos, and that would be a catastrophic failure for the MCU if that is what exactly happens. So, it's so funny, though, because, again, this is not something Iger typically does, but if he's throwing shade, then he's throwing shade. And, and see, our girl Stephanie, let's see, <laughs> hashtag bye boy <laughs> let me give her a like let me give her a like um and the comments you know we did it guys we broke bob um and this yeah dreaming or whatever uh let's see so <laughs> are you out of your fucking mind <laughs> p.s i know it's a joke and a funny one at that i just felt the need to post this in response uh, Wakanda built uh, out our secret entrance from the African section of Animal Kingdom, a different kind of Tomorrowland. Um, wrong hashtag, my dude. That's right. He didn't mess up the hashtag. So it's interesting. It's interesting. I don't know why he said that. Um, you know, I don't get it. It seems like a lot of people are kind of seeing it the way I'm seeing it, where they're like, what is he doing? Um, so I don't know. I don't know. But what do you guys think? I'm curious about what you guys think. Is this is this just good sarcasm by good old Bob Iger? Uh, Bob Iger, who's never really done things like this, to my knowledge. If I'm wrong, let me know. But I don't recall Bob Iger ever doing anything like this. And it's very strange that he's doing it with Captain Marvel. Um... I don't know. I would like to make fun of the fact that he messed the hashtag up, but I mess up on Twitter every day with, with spelling. So uh, Twitter just needs an edit button. That's really what it comes down to. Um, Captain Marvel, man. I just don't know what to think about this movie. Um, I don't think it's going to perform as well as they think it's going to perform, but I do think it's still going to perform well. I don't think it's going to lose money at all. But I do think that they are setting themselves up for a disappointment. We'll see. We'll see, but Bob Iger, a little bit of sarcasm. I like it, but I feel like it's misplaced. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.